Hello big boys, how are you doing? I hope you all are doing fine. So last week we had a lot of USD buying. So this week we are not focusing on buying USD because looks like a pullback lies ahead of us. Uh, instead of this, we are going to focus on three new opportunities that uh, Code Data is presenting us. So let's take a look on this. But, but you know, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. So let's go. Friends, so this week I'm going to focus on uh, some code index signals. Uh, if you don't know what code index is, I'm going to read for you direct from the book. Okay, so uh, the code index converts net positions from 0 to 100 bullish scale. This number reflects where the current net position ranks as a percentage of its range over the recent past. Uh, in other words, the code index is, is just normalizing the, dat the data and tell us if, uh, for example, the number of uh, we have right now, the net positions that we have right now is, is a lot, it's not, it's extreme, it's not, it's, that's the idea. And this week we have, uh, we have trading signals for two currencies uh, based on net on code index the first one is the almighty yen so let's take a look on it uh, usd gpi where are you yes it's here uh, so just for you to understand uh, it's here this can you see this this green bars these are the quote index. The quote index go from minus 50 to plus 50. So when we have this uh, this plus 50, what the quote index is telling us that we have a buying commercial climax. And after a buying commercial climax, we most of the time we had we have a, a bullish trend or at least some movement to the upside in the case of the if you read the, the forex weekly report you're going to see that in this case i'm not expecting a big move as you can see the the usd gpi is going uh, sideways for some time and this is highly expected because it's the same scenario that we have in 2016 yes 2016 when we had the the, the last usa elections so yes, what I'm expecting right now, my dear friends, is a move, uh, something uh, like this, okay? Uh, maybe 100, let's say uh, 100 pips, this level right here, okay? Let's uh, remove a little bit of this supply and demand zones. So I'm expecting something uh, around this uh, this level right here, this this next supply zone. Okay. Okay, and if you can take a look, all these this all these black lines are previous uh, possible bottom signals. So we have. A winner here uh, this signal was not too good we are stopped it here but this one was pretty good uh, this one also uh, pretty good we had this 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 spike before but after pretty good signal so I am betting on a small position on this one and I think I also had uh, yes I, uh, I also already made a little bet right here okay so let's see how this uh, evolves. Okay, my friends, uh, that's it. Not not much to, to, to add. One little thing that maybe we can take a look is uh, what volatility is telling us for USD GPI. Okay, so the top band, the high expected is 100, 0, 100, 0, 8, 20, 100. So right here, I don't think we are going to see this uh, on the next weeks, but uh, my bet is uh, at these price levels. Okay, my friend. So let's take a look on the other one. 
Okay, friends, here we go. Now we're going to talk about the Hushan Hubble. That's a cool, that's a cool name. Um, and this is the different signal. Uh, we have a possible bottom. Okay, so we just had a selling, a commercial selling climax, and the theory tells us that the price is about to go down after this. And we have something uh, interesting for this, uh, for this, this asset. First thing, on the weekly, we had price tra already trading inside this, uh, this supply zone on weekly. So this is a good place to, 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 indeed to take a position. Another thing that worth to, to, to observe is the fact that uh, USD, USD hub, Hubble, the, the Russian currency, have one uh, the positive swap. So when we short this this uh, this asset, we we get paid to hold the position. Can you see this? So every time you short this. You, you hold a short position every day, you get paid to hold this position. So this is a good trade uh, with this in mind too. Another thing that is good to observe is if we look uh, on what volatility is telling us about uh, the, the herbal, the you yes, is that we are already trading above the expected high for the month of September, so uh, we had uh, the odds on our favor. So this is uh, this is not a um, a trade or a asset that everyone trades. But in this case, I think it worth to take a position, a small one. Uh, what do you have to lose? Okay. So I don't know the size of uh, your account, but you can risk 0.2, 0 0.3% on the, on the trade like this and see what happened. And if you would if you think, if you have the mindset that to, that the next week you are going to see a pullback on the USD dollar, this trade makes a lot of sense. Okay, makes even more sense that uh, buying the USD GPI. Okay, friends. Uh, but just 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 to be clear, one thing do not invalidate the another one because uh, in the end, the USD uh, on uh, on the Hushan Hubble Hub it's Hubble that I say let's say. Uh, or in the, the Japanese yen, this, they are not the main currency, they are just the, the, the cut cold currency, okay, my friends? So don't get caught onto these traps. Let's take a look on the name again. Russian Hubble, that's it, okay? So let's take a look on the other one. Okay, uh, so we are talking about the wheat. Uh, one thing that 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 we, we must pay attention is the is that code signals for commodities are extremely reliable. They are uh, extremely strong signals, and this one, the uptrend uh, resumption signal, is a, a very good one. What is this 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 signal? What does this mean? Uh, basically, what the the uptrend? Let's see where it is. The uptrend resumption signal is telling us that we have a massive change. In the last in the last six uh, weeks on the cold index, so not just looking through the positions, but looking at the normalizing normalizer of the position is telling us that we had a big acceleration, and uh, this signal is valid when we got the signal and we are inside a, an uptrend. Okay, we can we can we can call this an uptrend because the price is. Is making higher highs, so we can expect uh, one another another leg up uh, on this. Okay, so uh, let's take a look on the data. So this is this is the signal. Can you see? Can you see this this little orange bar right here? This just appears when we have this kind of signal triggered. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and that's it. Can you see how uh, how the the the, big com the the commercials are edging to shorts? And you you will remember that the commercials trade against the trend. So this is a beautiful a beautiful uh, uptrend pattern. And I think it was the shot. And 
if you 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 realize where I placed my orders, I had already opened one. I had this this another another limit order right here, but I don't think it's going to be filled. Okay, and the first the first uh, uh, take profit I'm going to 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 try here, but at, at the end I'm going to my target is here. So when the price reach this level, I'm going to see how it's, how it's going to react. Uh, if, if price start to, to, to go down from here, I'm going to close. But if we see a breakout, I'm going to to add the another position. Okay, friends, not too much to to add this, to add this week. There is not a lot of happening uh, on the data. What I can tell you is that uh, remember Euro USD how it was um, every week we are we are seeing that top pattern that I was talking about that we saw uh, uh, decreasing open interest decreasing net positions uh, and but this week completely different we had increase on in open interest and increase on net positions so i think it's better right now for us to to close our trades move out and and wait okay if we see uh if we see euros taking these levels okay maybe i'm going i'm coming in again but uh see we already did some uh, interesting trades okay on euro usd so I think we can wait a little bit to see if price come to this price level right here. Okay, my friends. Oh, that's pretty much it this week. So um, that's it. Thank you for, for watching. Thank you for your time. Please uh, share this with your friends on your Twitter. And if you want to join us, the community, to use the dashboard, the tools that I have here, and also to, to chat with me and with other really nice guys please join us and you are welcome that's it my friends i see you on the next weekend bye bye